Hi there. Um, okay. This is going to be my try and let's play. And this is my very first, like, YouTube video ever of me doing, um, gameplay of any type of game. So, please be gentle. Um, <laughs> I am going to play through Trine. This is the first game. Um, if you've never heard of it, this game is available on Steam. Um, I think it's $14.99. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's also available on the PlayStation Network. Um, it was released back in 2009. Um, I just... It was probably a month or so ago that I first heard about this game. And I found it on Steam and I was like, I have to try this. So I bought it and of course I loved it. So um, if you're into the RPG um, type games, it's, it's kind of an RPG. Uh, it's a side-scrolling game um, and it's a lot of fun. You get to play as a lot of different characters. Well, I say a lot. You get to play as three different characters, but anyway. Um, there's the thief, the knight, and the wizard, and we're getting ready to meet all three of them as soon as I start this up. I'm going to save in a new slot, and I'm going to go ahead and play on medium. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a kingdom was prospering. But peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. But something was about to happen. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Alrighty. <clears throat> Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. Okay, so this is the thief. Um, she's got several abilities. Um, again, I say several. I really mean she's got two. Yeah, two. Um, she's got her grappling hook, and she can shoot arrows. That's about it. Um, one of my favorite things about this game is the the graphics. They're so pretty. I mean, you can just tell. It's really, really beautiful, and um, on top of that, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, the the um, the gameplay gets a little repetitive um, because basically, you you use either the thief or the knight to fight. Um, the wizard the doesn't have any... Moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. I forgot about the dialogue. Anyway, you basically use the thief and the knight um, as your main damage dealers. Um, the, the wizard doesn't have any harmful spells. He's just kind of a... And that's not to say he's not an asset. You need all three of them, basically, to 
to get through the game. I mean, they're all valuable, but, um, yeah. So, she's going to find the treasure first, and then we get to see the wizard. I got it. As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. Okay, so this is the wizard. He's got two um, abilities as well. He can levitate objects. Not objects that he's standing on, obviously, but, um, he can levitate stuff, move it around, and then he can conjure these boxes, um, of lots of different sizes. Um, you can make, that's the medium-sized one, the small one, but only, you can only conjure one at a time, and that changes as you get... Um, the green vials that I'm picking up are, like this, are, um, their experience. And once you hit 50 of them, um, all three of your heroes will get a point. And you can spend it on different kinds of spells. And eventually, the wizard gets the ability to, um, conjure, like, I think it's three items total. Three or four. I don't remember which. And the thief gets fire arrows, and the knight gets a sledgehammer that he can throw. So, the blue vials are energy, and you'll see he has an energy bar. And just a tiny bit of energy is gone. Um, as you levitate things and conjure things, um, your your energy bar will go down and if you run out of energy you're basically useless you can't do anything um, another one of the main objectives is to collect all those all the vials um, the red ones are health blue is energy green is experience and I think that's all there are also chests that have um, different things in them um, that like they're, they're like um, things that give you like little boosts um, the first the wizard thing saw a glimmering light coming from the shrine no one had been able to visit it for centuries because of the ancient magic protecting whatever lay inside the first thing we'll find is a, is a ring that gives us increased energy, so anyway, now we get to meet the knight. My darling, why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you are holding on to? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. But what kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. At the other end of the Astral Academy, a knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant. But this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. 
The Knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. Alright, <clears throat> so this is the Knight. Um, he's quite big and lumbering, but he's who I like to use for all of um, all of um, my fighting. I'm just, I'm kind of a melee girl. And that's funny because when I used to play WoW, and I played for about five years, when I used to play WoW, I was all, um, I was all about range. And, um, now I like melee more, which is weird for me. Anyway, um, that achievement I just got was to, you get achievements for each area that you go to, um, there's going to be all the different vials. If you pick them all up, you'll get an achievement. Oh, um, your thief this? has two different abilities oh, 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 to start oh, out with. What's going thief. On? Knight, I mean. And, um... One of them is... The knight two. saw a faint light coming from the age-old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the knight's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. Okay. So, one of them is to block with his shield. And that goes all the way around. Um, and then the other is just to swing his sword. Eventually he'll get a sledgehammer where he can break open stone walls and... I think, if I'm not mistaken, in this one he can throw the sledgehammer. I don't remember exactly. Um, and that, the sledgehammer is what takes away energy. The sword you can swing all day and... What's going on? The knight joined in taking a firm grip of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh no, this doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply... disappeared. Our new heroes were overwhelmed by the effect of the mysterious object. He learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient tales and legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. The treasure, the ancient object, was a device that could bind souls together. How it worked, he did not know. But he knew that it was connected to the legend of the Guardian whose earthly remains had been buried in the catacombs deep underneath the Astral Academy. The tomb resided right below the shrine. The wizard could not explain it, but he was sure the object was called the Trine. The knight didn't care. A more pressing concern was on his mind. It's all her fault. We must take her into custody. She stole the king's treasure! Did you not understand a word I said? It is not treasure, it's an ancient object, the trine. I believe it has bound our souls. We are stuck together. But she... The thief remained silent. She was waiting for the right moment to escape. Hopefully with the treasure, and without the pair of fools. Hmm. I think I know how we can use the device as we like. Okay, that's gonna do it for this first video. Um, that was basically just the introduction. I'm sorry, it was kind of, um, not very eventful. But that was just introducing you to the storyline and everything. Um, I will be back in a second video, hopefully. Um, I hope you guys like this series that I'm going to do. And um, hopefully I will be able to make it all the way through it. Um, so yeah, 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next